Hey guys, I want to make a full review video on the new Android N version that we have for the Nexus devices. This is actually a um, developer preview, so um, if you really want to test out the new features, then yeah, that's good. But it is not recommended for daily, day-to-day -day usage. So uh, I have installed it on both of my Nexus devices. I even uploaded a tutorial video that you can watch on my channel. So let's go ahead and start off. First of all, I'm going to show you the setup, how it looks like when you first boot up your uh, fresh Android and uh, uh, developer preview. So of course there's a new thing called as vision settings where you can quickly set up some visions uh, we have the magnifying gesture you can increase the font size uh, display size and talk back so uh, i accidentally turned on the talk back uh, which i tried to turn off uh, turn off but it uh, wasn't you know turning off so i had to install this uh, developer preview again so i'm just going to go through the settings here then it asks for the same card and it also says that uh, if you want to set up the Nexus 6P as uh, you know new or restore app, so I'm just going to set it as a new. And uh, also we have the Wi-Fi settings here. I'm just going to quickly skip it. So we do have the option to skip all this stuff. Uh, again, fingerprint sensor, skip anyway. Next. And there you go. It's pretty easy and uh, pretty fast to set up the Android N. So uh, visually, just looking at the screen, you can see here that uh, not much of a difference compared to the last year's uh, or the previous Android version, uh, but they have changed uh, a lot of things, added a lot of great uh, cool features. Uh, first of all, if we take a quick look at uh, one of the most uh, favorite or uh, thing here, the most important thing that is uh, for the multitasking, it's called as split. Uh, view or uh, or deal window it's something like that you know you can uh, relate it so when you have opened up like two different apps like messenger or phone dialer and you check out the uh, multitasking area you can see it's lo it looks a little bit different and you double tap like let's see here if I open it up again double tap or not double tap if you hold it hold it like this so there are some certain apps that it will work with and certain apps it will not going to work with. So I'm going to go back and see again. And with the with these apps, of course, it works without any problem. But in the future, we will see more third party apps joining this uh, split view uh, mode. So uh, yeah, this is something that we have on the iPad Pro lineup. So very nice. Uh, definitely, they are taking multitasking to the next level uh, with the... Um, with the new Android N version. So uh, this is definitely one of my uh, most favorite features uh, of the uh, Android N. And uh, also you can uh, press it again to get or hold it to get out of this um, split mode. Uh, also, if we take a look at the app drawer, you can see that we do have very similarity, just like Marshmallow. Um, you can see we have our search button there or search tab where you can search different applications uh, keyboard also looks very similar um, let's go into the uh, quick setting area where you can see the main difference they added some new stuff for example uh, when you first just scroll here it uh, gives you the uh, quick settings one of the most used quick settings and you can expand them by clicking on the arrow and then we have uh, more setting as you can see it says Android N uh, beta program so I've signed in there you can click on certain um, certain setting and it will pop up and show you more information like Wi-Fi uh, do not disturb so it's pretty cool uh, another thing here with the settings here uh, which is also I think like a major major change uh, if I go again to settings you can see that uh, uh, with each option you get a little bit of preview of what's inside so with the Wi-Fi it gives the information like it's uh, disconnected with Bluetooth it says disabled same thing here with the display it says adaptive brightness is on so uh, we don't have any empty spaces now every information is there uh, and uh, it's like more better uh, more polished and also you can take a look at the side uh, setting tab where uh, you can see these options again 
like for example if you are in notification area you can just swipe and go back to different options right from here so it's really a convenient and fast way to interact and also on the top it also gives you some suggestions like I don't have any fingerprint sensor uh, authentication right now so it says you should better have it and also change wallpaper so that's also nice uh, we have suggestion thing there and of course if I go down about phone section again preview a little bit of information Android N so if I go in tap on Android N version a couple of times and there you go this is how the android and logo looks like we don't know at this moment what this version will call will be called as maybe nutella or something like that but but yeah this is the android N. this is how their logo looks like and of course like i said this is a developer preview so it will have some bugs so it is not recommended to use as a daily driver so it might do a just comparison uh, for like fun you know uh, with like iPhones uh, iOS 9.3 which is also in beta state another neat feature here we have is called as a data saver if you turn it on this will going to prevent the app to access your data and uh, basically it is it's like uh, it's a more um, nice way to conserve more data on your phone and also if you go down here uh, you can see that like I said uh, very similar it's not any there's no any difference between the uh, not any difference between the Nexus 6P and the 5X as far as the features are concerned. Pretty much the same options. And also if you scroll down, if you click on this, uh, hold down to this uh, gear button for a couple of seconds and you'll see, uh, you'll heard a vibration or you'll feel a vibration and you release it and it says congrats system UI tuner is unlocked. Same thing here. And when it's unlocked, you go here into system UI tuner and it says fun for some but not for all got it and there's a new thing uh, here if we go into color and uh, appearance here you have the night mode so with the night mode you can actually uh, turn the screen into a little bit yellowish you know so that will going to stop the display uh, from hurting your eyes uh, in night time so if I just go into edit section uh, I already added it so I'm gonna go back and here you can see that we do have a night mode option here uh, if you click on it of course you have a yellowish display so it's really cool really good for those people who like to um, read books on their phone late night so yeah a nice addition there and uh, I'm just gonna turn it off uh, so I mean as far as the bugs are concerned I haven't seen any bugs um, on my phones you know with the Android N but obviously uh, it will going to be having a lot of crashes and other stuff you know when I download some apps from Play Store of course they are not optimized to work with Android N so just for the sake of you guys just to show you guys the full new look here I made this video and do, do let me know in the comment section down below what type of more stuff that you guys want to see for the Android N here and uh, also you can see that uh, one more thing if I show you guys here very quickly is that if we go into camera UI uh, still we have the same camera UI of course uh, there um, they, they will make a new update to the camera sense uh, camera app here camera software app without a doubt they also made some changes to the notification so when you receive a message it's gonna appear uh, right here um, so you don't have to actually uh, you know bring down the uh, uh, notification panel or the quick setting panel to view that notification so it's gonna be more attractive so we also have I'm gonna have like an option for quick reply which you can press and easily reply the notifications on the lock screen will look like this um, so when they will appear you have the option to slide them in either direction of course and then you have this uh, settings gear which you can press and this will quickly show you the options for the app uh, like whether you want to see the notifications or block them at all, you know, there will be no notifications and then show notifications silently. So you have settings and then you can go into more settings uh, to check more settings here, uh, more options here in the main settings. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can comment below. And again, like I said, uh, I made a video about how to install it. You can check that out. Link will be down below in the description box and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.